Hi guys, in this second video on naming cells and naming ranges, I'm going to show you how to manage the name cells and name ranges that you have. Sometimes you forget where, where your named cells are, and when, if you, especially if you're working with a spreadsheet over a long period of time and you don't see it and you come back to it and you're wondering or if you inherit a spreadsheet even more so if you inherit a spreadsheet from somebody else and you're working on it or you're working on it in a team and someone along the way has named a range or named a cell and it's causing some kind of confusion there's a way to manage the names okay so first of all let me tell you what I've done in this spreadsheet I've named this range over here supplier 4 okay so the numbers from cell B2 to B11 right here are named supplier 4 okay now the sum I've named subtotal 4 the average I've named sub av the min I've named sub min and the max I've named sub max okay I just wanted to do a bunch of names so even in this tiny little spreadsheet we have five different named cells and ranges okay so if I like I said in a scenario where now I'm, I'm confused or I want to manage them I want to get rid of the named ranges and bring them back to just unnamed ranges or I want to change a name or I want to uh, maybe change the range keep the name all this stuff can be done in this tab called the formulas in the formulas ribbon over here and you go over to name rate manager okay and in this actually in this area over here you have a bunch of options but basically the name manager is is gonna let you do all the things you need to do as, I, as we've described so far so here are those five names that I was talking about so supplier 4 which was the range and here are the values in that range and here are the cell references so it's in supplier 4 worksheet which is correct right and is cell B2 to B11 as we described okay and then here are those other ones supplier 4 which is cell B12 supplier uh, sub min sub max and sub app all which we describe are these four numbers over here so now I see what all these are and sometimes that might just be enough sometimes though you may want to delete something for example I don't want this range name supplier 4 it's causing some confusion with me I don't want it I can just click on it click delete it'll give me a little warning and I will delete that it doesn't delete the, the cells in that range what it does is it just takes the name off that range okay next maybe I want to change this name subtotal 4 to sub just subtotal so we can click on it hit edit take that part off we can even add a comment here if we like it refers to cell B12 in supplier 4 worksheet which is the same as it was before you can click OK and we've effectively changed that name okay so we can also make a new uh, named range here we can name here maybe we want to get that original one that we just deleted back so here we can just we can do it this way as well as well as the other way we learned in the other tutorial video in part one and we got that named range back okay and when we're done here we can click close and we know where our named ranges and cells are we know how to get rid of them if we want to and we know how to add them in two ways now both using the name manager and by just highlighting the range and going over here into the name box okay all right till next time uh, be sure to play around with this practice with it sometimes this is very uh, helpful and practice practice because uh, in this case the array functions become quite useful of these named ranges so when you get to array array functions you may want to have a, a good a firm grasp 
on naming ranges. Okay, so till next time, check out my other Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Math, Statistics, and R tutorial videos. Subscribe to the channel. Click on our supply. Uh, our sponsors ads that's what keeps these videos free for you guys next time have a great day